The date is November 22, 2002. Five years have passed since the release of the last major installment of the Mortal Kombat franchise and fans are excited to welcome the next chapter into their homes. Released on PlayStation 2, Xbox, GameCube and Game Boy Advance, this game marks the beginning of a new era for the franchise, and will sell more than 2 million copies during its first six months and win several awards, including for Best Fighting Game of 2002. Wow! Most important, the game will appeal to a whole new generation of fans and prove that there is life still left in the series, in spite of all attempts to ruin the franchise. But before all this can happen, let's head back, and see all the events that led to the creation of Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. After taking a break from Mortal Kombat with the release of The Grid, the development team at Midway, led by co-creator Ed Boon, returned to the franchise with a fresh set of ideas and a desire to deliver a completely reinvented fighting game, starting completely from scratch. The world has changed tremendously since the release of Mortal Kombat 4, and the initial plan to release an arcade version of the title was quickly cancelled, when Midway left the arcade business to focus on the development of titles for the home systems. With this decision, the team started experimenting and studying the three major home systems of the time, and grew up to 50 people to address the need of creating a much larger and content-filled game. The title was created on top of the cross-platform RenderWare engine, developed by British software house Criterion Software. Combined with the power of the new generation home systems, it allowed things that were previously not possible. Mortal Kombat 5 was first announced at E3 in May 2001, with a short trailer that did not include any footage from the game. Scorpion and Jax were featured, but only in a few barely noticeable frames. At that same time, Midway shared the idea of calling the title simply Mortal Kombat, a decision based on their desire to reinvent the franchise. A month after the show, Ed Boon published an image of a new fighter. Zebron was originally meant as an April Fool's joke, but couldn't make it in time as the game was not officially announced. At this time, many fans began to question the direction the new title was taking. Feeble. The first official images appeared only a month later, and featured three of the returning characters. The outfits seen in the release start differ significantly from those used in the game and show the long evolution of their design. After a long period of rumors and speculations, the official title of the game was announced in January of the following year. The installment number was made a part of the logo, and Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance was scheduled for the fall of 2002. The date was later pushed back to November, to give the developers more time to work on the title. Released artwork showed that several other names and logo designs were discussed for the game. In the coming months, the information-hungry fans were pleased by the release of the first screenshots, a lot of art and renders, several articles, character announcements, story details and the first official trailer.
<laughs> the new title made its public debut at E3 in May 2002. The shown build featured eight playable characters on a select screen very different from the one used in the final version. A lot more fighters were revealed by that time. The E3 presentation was completed with a live show by Adima, performing their original song, Immortal. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance was received generally favorable by both the critics and the fans. Starting with the introduction video, each player quickly understands that this is a completely different Mortal Kombat game. Liu Kang is dead. The story revolves around the sorcerers Shang Tsung and Quan Chi, who form an alliance to resurrect the undead army of Outworld's previous ruler, the Dragon King. Their quest begins with them killing the two beings who could stop them, the champion of Earthrealm, and the emperor of Outworld. I can no longer stand idly by and watch this evil consume the world. I have relinquished my status as Elder God to return to Earth and lead you all to battle against our old adversaries. We must act now. We must stop this deadly alliance. Just like any other aspect of the game, the gameplay was completely changed and moved entirely to 3D, with characters being able to move freely. The uniform basic moves were replaced by three unique fighting styles per character, two for hand-to-hand -hand combat and one weapon based. The player can switch between these styles and can even link them during combos. The weapons themselves are much more advanced in this game. Each fighter has a unique weapon which was originally going to be a detachable part of the 3D models. The idea was later dropped due to the delay caused by removing and putting it back into place. Some of the weapons could even be used for impalement, resulting in a loss of the style for the fighter, but also in a constant drain of life for the opponent. Unlike its predecessors, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance focuses more on the hand-to-hand -hand and weapon-based combat and less on the use of special moves, which are limited to only a few per character. Many of the beloved basic moves, like the uppercut, the sweep, the roundhouse kicks, and the high jumps were also omitted from the game. All these changes and restrictions created a significantly different gameplay and were met with mixed feelings by the hardcore fans of the franchise. Even though infinite combos were discovered after its release, the game is overall well balanced. It however failed to appeal to the tournament scene, and the lack of online support, resulted into its rather fast death when compared to previous installments. According to the developers, support for online play was not added as they felt that the current infrastructure was not fast enough at the time to support this feature in a fighting game. Fans of the franchise suspect a lack of development time is another reason, a theory supported by the inclusion of only one finishing move per character, and the fact that some of them felt rushed and unimaginative. One G wins. Fatality. Sorry about that. <laughs> so brutal. So evil. So deadly. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Read it mature. The final version of the game features 23 fighters, 11 of which locked at the beginning of the game. All of the returning characters were significantly redesigned. Part of the new designs are criticized by the fans, as some of the characters only retained the most basic aspects of their original look. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance is the game to introduce the most new characters to the series. Unfortunately, lack of originality in design and story will prevent some of them to become fan favorites. 
Kombo Raicho. Taking inspiration from the Mortal Kombat live action series, the developers introduced Liu Kang's master, Li Mei. As a native of our world, Li Mei receives an offer from Quan Chi to participate in the Deadly Alliance tournament in exchange for freedom for her people. Kenji. A rogue swordsman, tricked by the sorcerer Shang Tsung to release the souls of his ancestors, an act that left him blinded. The original story, his design and fighting styles quickly turned him into the single most popular of the new characters. Mavado. A member of the Red Dragon, a clan of highly skilled and disciplined warriors. Renegade members of this clan once formed the Black Dragon. Mavado's design went through a lot of changes before it could be finalized for the game. Mitara. The first vampire in the series. Her realm was once conquered by Shao Kahn, and she is on a quest to free it from Outworld's grasp. Dramin. A demon from the Nether Realm. Dramin serves Quan Chi in exchange for his freedom. Su Hao. Another member of the Red Dragon. Su Hao was able to penetrate the ranks of the Agency for Outer World Investigation formed by Jax and Sonia, ultimately destroying it. Frost. The development team has always wanted to introduce a female version of one of the most popular characters. When this finally happened, and Frost was introduced as a female counterpart of Sub-Zero, with similar freezing powers, the fan community was divided in two, people who welcomed the idea, and people who hated it and never warmed to the character. This massive demon from the Nether Realm was the personal protector of Quan Chi before the sorcerer escaped from the Dark Realm without him. Moloch serves as an unplayable sub boss, a role often occupied by a member of the Shokan race. The game includes two additional hidden fighters, who, unlike the others, were neither present on the select screen nor had any finishing moves or their own unique fighting styles. Please. This mysterious outworld elemental was first introduced in Mortal Kombat 2, as a background character. Years of rumors and speculations resulted in his appearance in the game, a fate shared by other characters as well. He is the guardian of the last known great dragon egg. Mocap. The name of this character is an abbreviation from motion capture and he was designed to resemble the look of motion capture artist Carla Spazina, who has worked on Mortal Kombat since the beginning and has portrayed Raiden in the 2D versions of the game. A countless number of character ideas were dropped during development, and some of them were added as art images to the crypt, a place where players can unlock bonus content by using coins which they get by playing the various modes of the game. Among these are characters from previous iterations of the franchise, as well as several new, some of which will appear in later installments. A big amount of additional story was included in the new practice like Conquest mod, which was divided in missions for every fighter. Each mission has a different objective, from executing a simple set of moves, to performing complex combos and defeating enemies. Unfortunately parts of the told story was later rendered non-canon. Test your might. Test Your Might returns to the series, after being absent since its introduction in the first Mortal Kombat. A second game, called Test Your Side, was included to add diversity to the gameplay experience. You chose unwisely. <laughs>
the Game Boy Advance version of Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance is significantly different from the others, mostly due to the hardware limitations of the system. While it preserves the 3D nature of the gameplay and most of the game mods, it features sprite-based pseudo-3D graphics and less characters. The game was a much bigger success than the previously released Mortal Kombat Advance, which resulted in an exclusive sequel to be released for the handheld console in the summer of 2003. Mortal Kombat Tournament Edition was built on top of an enhanced version of the engine used in the Game Boy Advance port of Deadly Alliance. The game features most of the characters which were not part of the first game, and even includes three exclusives. Serena. This is the first appearance for the character in the fighting game, after she was introduced as a member of the Brothers of the Shadow in Mythology's Sub-Zero. The ninja was included as a black version of Scorpion. Through his ending, the developers explained the mysterious death of Goro, prior to the events of Deadly Alliance. Sector. The cybernetic warrior returns to form his own clan, after losing control over the Lian Kuei to Sub-Zero. In addition to the new characters, the game supports several multiplayer mods, and even features weapon fatalities. Players who have Tournament Edition can play against owners of Deadly Alliance. In this case, the two players can only use the three characters present in both games. Most of the introduced story elements were further explored in later games, which increases its significance to the timeline of the franchise. Sector win. Fatality! Rated M for Mature. From the co-creator of the original Mortal Kombat. Realism, there's no power greater than X. After leaving Midway in 2000, John Tobias and several other members of the Mortal Kombat team formed their own game studio and began working on Thao Fang Fist to the Lotus, an Xbox exclusive fighting game. Before its release, many of the fans envisioned the title as a direct rival of Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. The game incorporates realistic damage effects, including cuts, bruises and ripped clothing. Additionally, Dao Feng is notable for its interactivity within the environments, such as destruction and using the surroundings for special attacks. Upon its release, the game faced mixed reviews, which criticized the depth of its gameplay and was almost completely dismissed by most of the Mortal Kombat fans. In 2005 the studio released its second and final game, before seizing operation. With the release of Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance the franchise finally found a way to reinvent and to introduce itself to a brand new generation of gamers. Even though it was too much of a departure from the series for some of the hardcore fans, the game successfully laid the groundwork for the arrival of the Dragon King. 